right, guys, this is Dead Jester Gaming, and I am back. I had a long hiatus. A lot of stuff went down. Decisions were made, good and bad. Stories were made. And there's a lot involved in everything. But basically, I am back. I am going at this full force. I'm going full time on YouTube. I am going to make something of this. Dead Jester Gaming will be the name in households from this point on. I'm going to be getting a regular upload schedule. I'm going to be going hard, guys. So, today, what's important? I got you guys an amazing game. It's called Always Sometimes Monsters. I, it's really deep, really... It's really philosophical, I guess is the best way I could put it, but it's not, it doesn't really do it justice from what I've heard. Uh, full disclosure, I have played a little bit. I've had some recording issues. Third time's the charm. I've said that on every other video. Uh, that I've tried today, but third time is the charm, so we're going to make this work out, and you guys are just going to love this. Alright, uh, this is going to be probably a longer playthrough. I can kind of feel that it's kind of a longer game, at least that's the way it comes off to me. Um, and I actually got this with the Humble Bundle a long time ago. I didn't even think it was, you know, anything. I thought, oh, pixelated style, you know, this is just another throw-in game they just put in there. No! Uh, this game is actually really awesome, so you guys can check it out. Um, the devs are amazing. They made Hotline Miami, if you guys have heard about that. And, uh, yeah, just go for it, man. This is a great game. I'm going to go for it. Um, starting a new game for you guys. See how it goes. All right. Get this on. It has an amazing track, which I don't know if I can keep in there because it may be copyrighted. But uh, regardless, we're gonna we're gonna leave it for this video. If they give me any trouble about it, then I'll have to figure something else out, and I'll just throw something else in the background. So it is what it is. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? Yeah, Blood. I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Jeez, get a new boss, man. Like, what were you? What job did you have? You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. Jeez, it's not really your decision to make. You don't have your finger on the trigger. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Uh, no, I'm getting the fuck away from you. No, don't come chase. Oh, you're chasing me. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going nowhere unless I say so. And he suddenly has a southern draw. I, I don't know why. I mean, got a bit of an accent myself, but yeah. I'm telling you, y'all making a mistake. Don't do something well, I'll regret. Running from Colonel Sanders here. Oh, guy in a mask. He's probably not dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Got a minute or a dollar? Honestly, nowadays I have neither, so no. Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along before you go through. There's something I think you should ought to take a look at. That would be a gun. What the hell is that? I just said it was a gun. Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. Now, I would not be this calm and collected as this guy. This guy has some experience doing this shit. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he don't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like, any of this matters anyways. 
I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. But then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, choice is always yours. Well, I'm gonna listen to him, because I mean, I've already apparently spilled enough blood for one day. I mean, might as well listen. It's not hurting me, it's not shooting. Uh, if you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. Either the coastline of the railroad, usually, because it's where the roads usually branched off from when they're being built, but regardless. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you, but would you know the opportunity when it knocked? I mean, personally, I usually like a piece of the um, keyhole or um, uh, little window you have to the outside of your door, little peephole. So, I mean, if a guy was wearing a shirt that said opportunity, I mean, I'd probably answer it, but I'd be like, what the fuck do you want? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that is still up for debate. That night they toasted to ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Oh, I'm trolling this guy now. Come on, hurry it up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. Uh, my name is Larry now, so yeah. They're all weird. Bitch, why can't you have normal friends? Why can't you be a normal person? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, want to be, you know, like the ones I was telling you all about. Boss wants me to sign some by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. I'll just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Oh, I like this guy. This guy seems this guy seems determined. All these other people like just don't the cat. Yeah, oh, good cat. Nice kitty. Cat. I like my cat. Alright, this guy seems determined. Like these other guys, they're like talking to each other. She's staring at a wall, probably checking out his ass. I mean, you, know, you gotta do something here. She's staring at the cat. She she looks rather vapid. Uh, I mean, most of these people look kinda of vapid. But this guy, this guy has a look of determination on his face. He's the one I'm picking. Happy birthday, pal. How old are you now, anyways? I prefer not to check. Well, then let's toast to ignorance. I got a couple beers if you're interested. Tonight I'll only be having one drink. Maybe keep it simple with a beer. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the old ball and chain. Oh, okay, so it puts me in his perspective now. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. go out here. So, from what I gathered, you just pick someone. It, it really doesn't matter all that much. Um, at least I don't think it matters late game, but yeah. Should I change the song? I don't even know you can do this. Yes. Might as well. Alright, badass, badass. Let's cycle through these really fast. Oh, it just is the same one. Uh, this game has an amazing track, like I said, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it or not, because it might be copyrighted, so if it is, I'll just figure something out for the next episode. I can use another beer, but I've got to find my baby first. Larry's waiting on me. Okay, can I take a burger? Mmm, that chicken smells good. Chicken it does smell pretty good on the grill, i got to be honest. Let's go with her. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I spoke with him. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Do you think Sam will mind us pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. 
If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but first we gotta make it happen. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me, I'll sign it first. So this is where you name your guide. Now, um, I have a great name in mind, so bear with me for about two seconds here. Boom, simple, straight to the point, Mr. Dick fucking face at your service. Okay, my turn. Now, I'm allowed to say this when I have red hair. So, all y'all haters in the comments, go fuck yourselves. B There's the F. I think you guys know where I'm going now. C and a K. There we go. Mrs. Mrs. Gingerfuck. <laughs> Best wishes, Gingerfuck and Dickface. Let me see that thing for a second. Sounds perfect. All right, Gingerfuck, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. And the shared a moment. Good luck. Okay, now control both of them. Here comes the title sequence. I gotta say, from the little bit I've played of this game, I'm really impressed. It is a really good game, and I was really hesitant about it from the artwork at first, but I've realized, you know, it's actually really good, and, you know, I've learned over the years you shouldldn't judge game by its artwork, but this one really makes use of it. So, Larry, before we toast, I'm the guest, you've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, dickface. Ah, this guy is inadvertently the biggest jerk here. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you in advance. That's that, that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. New ambition. To success. To getting rich. Shut the hell up. I'll toast. To world domination. Because what are you doing in life if you're not plotting world domination like every second of every day? Like, that's how I spend my days personally. I'm always plotting world domination. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would it be this one? Yeah, why the hell not? One year later. Dubstone apartment. Dubstone? I don't know. <laughs> His apartment is still cleaner than mine. <laughs> oh, I made myself sad. <laughs> There's the team of created the music. Awesome job on guys. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. What time did I get in last night? I've had those moments. Shit! Looks like my people's stop monitor, got, sleep monitor, got reset. I think that's a knockoff of a certain smartwatch company. I can't quite put my finger on what that brand could possibly be. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. <laughs> you know, that, that's a scary thing with technology becoming more prominent. Like, when when is the day going to come? where I'm wearing some augmented eye, uh, advanced, uh, VR, like augmented VR, augmented virtual reality or whatever, uh, and I'm walking down the street and I get an achievement for walking so far, like, I hear the Xbox ding, and I see the achievement pop up, like, I don't know whether I'm gonna be looking forward to that day or scared of that day, like, yeah. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Yeah, apparently, from what I can see about this thing, like, you have to sleep and stuff in this game, I guess? I, I don't know. I said the longest journey starts with a single step. And there it goes. 
Uh, there's the there's the single step, guys. There it went. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. Yada yada yada. Balance is 500. Go fuck yourself. We hate your guts. 30 days overdue. Pay up deadbeat. Sincerely, sincerely, management. They're nice folks. It's always something, isn't it? Come see me if you wanted to get coffee. Best before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you and my manager hates slackers. I think it says Dorkef. Man, that guy's parents hated him. Well, at least I've got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key and your bank card. Always useful, always useful. Wait a minute, there's a lot of doors here, I wonder. Can we go in? Look through the keyhole. Wait, we can do this? Alright. Let's, 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 let's spy a little bit, guys. Might as well take a look. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, can we get out of here? Oh god, oh god. I might have to censor that. Jesus. I will not be peeping in any more keyholes from this point on. <laughs> I have learned my lesson and I am turning away from my old ways. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss Tuliger? Tuliger? Who knows? Oh, pardon me, dickface. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse from my little calendar. There's never enough time in the day, you know. Um, sorry, I am in a hurry. Sorry, Miss Tuliger, I don't really have time to chat. The landlord's hunting me for this month's rent, and I've got to slip out before he catches me. Where's your girlfriend? Things, uh work out. Just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a nice kid. I'd hate to see you evicted. Whatever happened to that book you sold? Did it not make any money? Still haven't finished it, but I'm waiting on the check from the publisher. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll finally be in my mailbox today. Well, that's just awful. I'll tell you what, if you need some money, you can come by my place later and you can help me clean up a little. I'm hosting a little get-together tonight and the place needs to be spotless. I'd, it'd be lovely to have some help. I'll think about it. Think about it, I'm supposed to spend the day helping my friend. Maybe I'll come by if I have the time later. If you've got plans, don't worry about it. My door will be open if you change your mind, though. Have a good day, dickface. Hope you find what you need. Now, in theory, I could peep in both of these. But if they're anything like the first one, I've learned my lesson. So, you guys can do that on your own. Alright, call the elevator here. Go down the floor. Cheap ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I may be able to slip out of here undetected. Sneaky, sneaky. Shit. Hold it, you mangy bunk. You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on clap off thing installed last week. Damn it. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're in a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you owe, or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're serious about affecting me, huh? Uh... Now is not the time to be a dick. Um, don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm expecting a check from my publisher real soon. It's even probably already here, so just relax. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. <laughs> it's got to be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care who's dick you've got to suck to get it. You're out of time, scumbag. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Uh, no. See ya. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I told you to hand over that key. So, you want me to just give you my key? Uh, I am running away, because... Fuck that noise. 
Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, Deadbeat? Just run away from all of your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. See ya. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. See ya, dickwad. Dubs down. Ah. Hey, there's a person. Hey, dickface. Fuck you. How's it going, man? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. <clears throat> Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants 500 bucks for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out of one, though. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. Everybody isn't anymore, except for that one person who probably won the Powerball lottery. Wasn't me, unfortunately. Could have bought another ticket, but whatever. I did find this rare Indy Harrow's figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. Ew. Probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try to get all six of them like me. Bellinger gave you a Charlie murder. Alright, that seems safe. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Well, it's good to know once we get evicted, we won't be alone on the streets. Can we use this phone? <clears throat> oh, okay, cool, we can use a phone. Well, what happens when we use a back card? Uh, Nations Bank doesn't support telephone banking yet. It really should make the switch. What's another option now? Archives number? Let's see what he has to say. Hey, you've reached the king of good time. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this is Viper, I'm screening my calls. Cut it out, because I'm not answering. No answer. You seem nice. There's a uh, shameless plug by the devs. Right there. I wonder. Holy shit, we can go inside this thing. Oh wow, this is, this is awesome. Does that cat have a sword? Come here, come here, cat. Cat, 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 get back here, cat! RoboCat from the Vagabond Dog hit arcade game Cold Line Toronto. What's this guy want? What's this guy gonna say? Hey there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kinda walked in. I've been looking for the guys to run this place. I heard they got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into any building I can. <laughs> I'm probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's the game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Personally, I like a caramel frappe, but that's just me. I mean, like any caffeinated beverage that gets set in front of me, except for tea, I'll probably drink it. Like, I run on caffeine. Like, I don't think I've had a sober day away from caffeine in the 19 years that I've been around. So, yeah. What are these arcade games? What's this? This game's called Mega Ramas. Rasmus? Oh, it's set free to play. Alright guys, minor diversion. We're gonna play a game within a game. Let's see how this... What the... No. Wow. Little known fact, I'm actually really good at uh, traditional Pac-Man. I actually got good at it as a kid. And it's because when I was younger, my parents bought one of those uh, plug-in things for your TV. Ah. Uh, I can't believe I died there. They bought one of those plug-in, like, arcade systems for your TV, and, uh, they actually got food poisoning at Christmas, so the whole day, they were under, like, a million blankets, and I was just outside in the living room. <laughs> I was out in the living room just playing Pac-Man and, like, Space Invaders and all this other retro stuff. It was great. Like... They still won't eat little smoky um, hot dogs or whatever things are to this day. <laughs> I'm waiting on the day that I just walk in with a few at Christmas, so like, hey guys, brought you a little something. I'm sure they're gonna love that. <laughs> ah, I died again. I didn't need to get out of here anyways, because I gotta get back to the storyline here. Alright, game over. Oh god, no, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, I'll cut. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I'm back. 
That took way too long to get out of. <laughs> it turns out they don't actually have like a built-in escape key for those ones, so yeah. I just had to like die until I actually ran out of lives. I think that's blood. Is, is that is that I should not walk down here, but I, I gotta know, is that blood? Dirty mackerel? Um sure. Ew. A lot to do right now. Probably not a good time to sleep. Who are you? Hello there, fella. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um Hey you. Hey, you stole my lunch. Oh, I didn't know that was his lunch. I ain't got nothing to say to you, damn dirty lunch stealer. Uh, I'm giving it back to him. I don't have any use for fucking mackerel. Gave him back his food, like. Alright. Good for you, old man. You, get, you got a fish. There really aren't enough police in town, if you ask me, and we have an overabundance of homeless. Yes. Maybe we could start offering jobs on the force to a few of the bargains to get the town cleaned up for good. You know, creating job incentives for the homeless is actually a really, really smart idea that we haven't seen implemented really well. I mean, there's been a lot of programs to do it, but a lot of the services end up being underfunded, or they're not funded properly, or they're just not organized well. So, serious issue in society, real talk, people. Oh, doggy. I should try to find some food for that dog. Give him the... I, I don't want to take food from a person to give it to a dog. The dog is probably hungry, and the person uh, is old, but I, I'm not doing moral decisions right now. And do I want to drink my problems away? I'm supposed to be at work. Can't be drinking my problems away just yet. Give me some time. Hmm? What do you want? Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. You say? The whole area is filled with tutorialium. Tutorialium? I get you. I get you. Good job, Dells. Good job. Alright. A lot of homeless people right here. Like I wasn't lying. Well, what do you have to say? I don't know why more people don't use Velcro. You know, that's a good point. That is a damn good point. What, what other brilliant thoughts do you have? I almost got hit by a car the other day. Well, that's that's not uplifting. Made me drop my coffee and everything. Anything to end on a high note with you? It's gonna be a long road to payday. I spent all my cash trying to win back my scratch card losses. <laughs> Alright, close enough. You seem like a nice person. Are you a nice person? Doesn't it make you sick just knowing how many pathetic sheeple are walking among us? No, you are not a nice person. I mean, you do you, buddy, but... Yeah. Who are you? Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. What's a popcorn trick? So, have you ever heard of the popcorn trick? It's where you take a bag of popcorn and you cut it... Oh, no, not this one. Oh, God. Well, the popcorn trick? Let me stop you right there. Dirty Don invented the popcorn trick. In fact, it used to be called Dirty Don Maneuver. What happened? Why the name change? Man, it's a long story. Let's just say there was a year-long legal battle with a dirty Sanchez guy. <laughs> so I was forced to rename it the popcorn trick. Well, if you think about it, the name actually makes more sense now. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, kid. You made my day. What do you have to say? Anything? Anything to add to it? You have anything to add to this? Sorry, dude. I don't have time to chat. I'm supposed to be watching my Uncle Don's truck. You should scram before I get in and shit. All right. I mean, I guess you're. I guess you're busy. Where? Is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? I think. Hey, you look like you'll probably mug me. Hey there, fella. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I mean, I am flat broke, but, I mean, I can talk. I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least three days. I have a sandwich on me? Alright. I'll give it to him. There you go, pal. First sandwich on the house. I pulled a sandwich out of my ass and gave it to the man. Um, apparently I have the superpower of ass sandwiches. And I've done nothing with my life to uh, that effect. 
Uh, I am flat broke with the superpower of pulling sandwiches out of my ass. This is a disappointment. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh god. It was necessary if, if it wasn't necessary for your survival, would you be able to tell the difference between the illusion of free will and the actuality of it? What? Dude, I all I meant to do was give you a sandwich and you got metaphysical on me. Like, I don't want to deal with this existential bullshit of the fact that reality is likely a virtual simulation within a simulation within a simulation within a simulation within a simulation, within a simulation times infinity all the way down and we're going to have another chain in the process. This is not the day. This is not the hour. It's like 1 a.m. It's 1.30. I am not dealing with existential bullshit right now. Goodbye. I am booking it out of that conversation. Who are you? It's dan I'm dangerous. You don't want to mess with me. Ooh, I almost got cut from all that edge. Better watch out. Who are you? This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I'm not moving for anything. Not a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Darko should be waiting for me inside. Oh, okay, this is where I have to actually go. Well, I'm cutting in front of her. Whoa, partner. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, dipshit. Fuck you. Why don't you turn around and get lost? There's Dark F. Yeah, I'm working here today. Is Dark F around? You're the asshole that everyone's been waiting on then? Dark F's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I assume I go this way, because it looks like a desk over there. There we go. Alright, what do you want? And the dead rise. You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? Nah, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. Real nervous. My first big show since I split with Viper, and I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how differently my life would have been if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Ginger Fuck left you, what, a year ago? Damn, that name worked out good. <clears throat> it's time to move on, don't you think? Yeah, all right. It's not that easy for me. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. How long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. What did I do? <clears throat> you know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. What stuff? Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. I assume he's talking about drugs, and in that case... You know, you shouldn't have to take drugs to perform for fans or people because that's getting down a rabbit hole of shit that we don't need in our society is people having to be fucked up in order to entertain the masses. Like, I am pro-legalization of across the board, but you shouldn't have to take drugs to impress people. That's just, that's just not good. It's not the way to lead your life there. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. <clears throat> Kinda wish I had something to calm my nerves. Oh well, I'm burdened to bear. Here's a layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly. I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. First time, excuse me. Alright, so, 2 by 2s in the back, 4 by 4s in the front. I've actually done stage setup before at a concert uh, as a summer job to get in for free. I actually did that twice. It was a really fun concert, I will admit, so I'm used to doing stage setup of this kind of stuff. You'd be surprised how much actually goes into that stuff. Like, there were specific ways we had to carry the cables in so they didn't get damaged. It was insane. This was a small time, well, quote, small time concert, end quote. 
Um, whereas it was, I mean, a few big name bands, like Skillet was there, Red was there, Devil Wears Prada had been on the stage before. Um, it was a Christian concert. And, uh, but there were also a lot of smaller bands. It was a really good time, though. There were a bunch of different stages. So I've done this kind of stuff before. So it's keyboard, drums in the back, guitar, bass, microphone. Uh, guitar is on the left and bass is on the right from the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, it looks right to me. The gears in these boxes here. All you've got to do is put the stuff right on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey can do this job, so you better not mess it up. Get it done perfect and I'll give you a hundred bucks, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlight for you. Man, I wish I made a hundred bucks when I did stage crew. <laughs> oh, I got free admission. You picked up the guitar. Alright, if I remember correctly, the guitar goes on the left. Right here. Yes. Alright. This better be a damn good show. I imagine so, I mean, hope it would be. Got the microphone. I would correct that should go right in the middle. That's the way it usually goes at a concert. Connect cable A to wait, that's not right. <laughs> it looks right to me, so that's what I'm going off of. Pick up the bass. Bass was on the right, right, right. Ah, let me select him. Damn it. I'm hitting enter. Oh, I was hitting shift. Equally sized keys. First world problems here for people. I'll put, put, put that together right. Oh, I actually can't tell the difference. I don't think it matters. Who the hell are you? Hey, hey, dickface. Fuck you. Come give me a hug. Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark F split. You sure he's cool with hanging around here before a show? Trust me, if I know Dark F, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? Now, I know this is just a game, but Bro Code will tell you if he, your friend's ex comes wandering up and asking about how much they've talked about her, you say nothing. And if you have to say something, you deny it. So. I have to deny this. He hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are Splitsville for good this time. I always know when you're lying, dickface. Well, man, I tried. I also know when my baby is super nervous, and which is why I brought him a present. Wait a minute. He said she was a junkie. Oh, no. The baggie of... Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dark has been doing so well, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and doesn't need you making his decisions for him, but you still shouldn't be bringing him goddamn heroin. Kids, PSA, do not do heroin. Heroin will, heroin will ruin your life more than you know. Especially whatever this groupie might have on their hands. God knows it's cut a million times. If he's nervous about the show, and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? Uh, people who don't want him ruining his life? Like, yeah? He'll just get it from somewhere else otherwise. Get the fuck out! You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Dark F left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, dickface. You don't know the first thing about Dark F, what he needs, or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. No, uh, I think we do. And I think love doesn't mean your significant other gets you a goddamn baggie of heroin when you've broken up with them. Like, yeah, you really need to work on your life and your priorities at that point. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. What a psycho. Pick up the heroin? Um... Here's the problem, um, now, I don't mean this to sound wrong, but should someone show up, I don't want this on my hand, but on the other hand, um, yeah, if I leave it, someone else will pick it up, they might use it, but they're not the friends that I'm thinking of then, so, I mean, 
there's a chance that it could go wrong if I don't, and there's a chance that it could go wrong if I do. So I think I'm gonna leave well enough alone and not have the paraphernalia on my person, because let's say you get arrested. Better leave that there. Yeah, I think that's the best best advice is just to leave it. You picked up the drums. Just go on about my business like I never saw another. I think they want the right. Funny story, when I was a kid, can we build it? Yes, we can. When I was a kid, um, there was one time the school made the uh, kids help to clean up the playground like we had destroyed it or something. Dug garbage everywhere. And uh, we were doing some cleanup around the playground. One of the kids was walking around the perimeter and saw a coat outside the uh, fence. And he picked it up and a strange white substance fell out of one of the pockets in a small baggie. Uh, needless to say, the school sheriff got called, and the kid didn't get any trouble, so don't worry about that. But, yeah, apparently someone's been doing that for a while, using the playground as a drop point. Because, I mean, it was, in, it was like the middle of town. They were using the school playground as a drop point uh, for their cocaine addiction, where they would drop it, and the person give them the money, and they tell them where it's at. So, yeah. Set up the equipment? Yes. <clears throat> I'm working up a sweat here. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Oh, here he comes. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. I think I got that right. Oh, yeah, he saw it. Well, what do we have here? I'm gonna put this away. I'm getting a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Yeah, you probably would, but that's why I didn't want to have it on my person. Damn fine work. It's so rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the hundred bucks I promised you. You earned every penny of it. <clears throat> Dark F gave you a hundred bucks. Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? I gotta tell him. Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took my head off with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it if you like. It'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern, though. I was going to come across it sooner or later. Well, I guess I gotta get ready for the show. Feel free to come to the club a little later if you're interested in working Coat Jack. We're short-staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, dickface, you're a good friend. Oh, well, thank you, man, but if being a good friend just means you don't let your friends do heroin, like, yeah, that's not a hard job. <laughs> Seriously, people, PSA, do not do heroin. I guess that's a day's work. Hope I made the right call with Dark Jeff. He's really been there for me this past year. I don't know what he's questioning there. Alright, I think I'm going to cut it there, guys. It should be about a half an hour now, or 25 minutes, half an hour, something along those lines. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a upload schedule, hopefully, of one video a day, Monday through Thursday, if everything works out proper. And until I get in the swing of things, um, yeah, like, favorite, subscribe if you guys like the video, comment if you really feel like it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be doing a series and a whole playthrough of this game. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.